at Ruddy Creek, where just steps behind me, a local energy company is extracting oil from deep below Millwood. Holes the size of small cars have been drilled into the ground by the Frexicon Corporation, run by Kirk Vanderhoek, a Millwood resident. A representative from Frexicon tells me they plan to extract over 5 million barrels of crude oil in just a single day. So the beauty is all this... We're headed to the Crown Lake Club for dinner. Did you finish your homework? I'm gonna do that Miranda's, remember? He said I could stay at her house. Fine. Just don't stay up all night. He'll be a zombie in the morning. Oh, that tie suits your father. He should wear it tonight. He looks nerdy. I don't know why I bother. Cavern from 1994 when a group of students went missing in the underground caves during a school trip. For two weeks, national news warned Millwood during intensive rescue efforts. But in the end, just one of the Millwood six, as the six missing students known, was recovered. Mom? Sadly, the rest of the teenagers were never heard from. I kept waking up on that because I thought I heard someone walking around on the roof. It's called the wind. It's part of climate change. Warmer, wetter, and yeah, windier. Educate yourself on how we're damaging our planet. It is freezing today. Personally, I would not mind a little more global warming. Just promise me you'll be there after school. Beware. Hello? Beware. Have you been living under a rock? They started fracking yesterday down at Ruddy Creek in like a big way. What the frack is that? <laughs> Very funny. There's massive holes in the ground with who knows what kind of bad stuff seeping out. Imagine what it's like for the Cerulean warblers. <laughs> not again with the birds, come on. I'm assuming that you're gonna shovel the dirt back in the holes. We're not just protesting to protect wildlife. It's for people too. Mm, right. The Earth is our mother. We've got to take care of her. So with the fall of the Byzantine Empire, a new power arose. Can anybody guess who they were? Here's a hint. At the end of a long day, you might put your feet on it. The dog? Nice try, Charlie. The correct answer is the Ottoman Empire, who ruled from Constantinople. Which brings us to page 73. Charlie? OK. Um. In the 1450s, a new challenger threatened the Ottoman Empire. Uh, in Wallachia... Wallachia? In Wallachia, part of modern-day Romania, an obscure prince known as Vlad the Impaler led a rebellion that killed thousands of Turks before being imprisoned in Hungary. All right, hold a beat there, Charlie. Where else have we heard of Vlad the Impaler? You might know him as Vlad Dracula, the inspiration for Bram Stoker's 1897 novel. Does that mean that vampires were real? Just folklore. But it's a good reminder that people can be scary too. Vlad was known to nail the turbans of his enemies to their heads. That's far out, Mr. James. Mm-hmm. So, 
Lest we repeat our mistakes, we should pay attention to the past. Let's all try to stay awake for tomorrow's lessons, huh? Hey, uh, Charlie, any idea where your sister Annabelle is today? I don't know. Hey, maybe she's with, uh, uh Dean Paley. That's it, everybody. See you tomorrow. Hey, Muskrats, don't stay silent. Join the movement. Ruddy Creek, 4 o'clock. Hey! Watch where you're going, hippie. Or what? Your dad will drill holes under my house? At least my dad has a job. Unlike your deadbeat parents. You know what? You and your dumb family think that you're perfect, but you're not. And one of these days, you're gonna get what's coming for you. Yeah, she is the worst kind of girl. She's stupid, she's loud. I don't know what her deal is. What? Are you gonna do something about it? That's what I thought. The beauty is all this natural gas is hidden deep in the ground, thousands of feet below us. So by drilling down there and pumping water into the earth, we're able to get huge amounts of oil and gas without burning any fossil fuels. But what about environmentalists who say that fracking can contaminate groundwater, or worse, cause earthquakes? Those people aren't scientists, Vanessa. They're alarmists. Let's cut here. Rumor is they are protesting against you this afternoon. Well, let them try. The only thing my guys like more than drilling is fending off eco-freaks. You are a real charmer, Kirk. Have a wonderful evening, Vanessa. Mm -hmm. Mr. Vanderhoek, I've got Jimmy from construction on the line. He faxed over something for you. It's on your desk. Let's patch him in. What am I looking at, Jimmy? We saw it on the south end of the drilling site by the old barn. And what do you make of it? We're thinking it's those protesters. But why would someone be walking out of the cave? Can I help you? Are you thirsty? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not thirsty. I'm more hungry. Okay, well we got paninis, salads, and our famous O oh Mama omelet. All right, it's not for everybody. <clears throat> Are you all right, kid? Because you look a little pale. Maybe you should take a seat. Are you from around here? Because I haven't seen you before. Um, I lived on Finmore Street, a blue house with a cabled roof. Oh, yeah, I know that house. Uh, Maya Barnes lives there with her kid. She has a kid? Sure, yeah. A little sleepy looking, but nice enough. Nicer than those other kids that come through here sometimes. Is the payphone still by the restroom? <laughs> payphones? Uh, well, you got a sense of humor on you, don't you? Uh, anywhere you want, mister. I'll be with you in a minute. All right, now you're sure you don't want it in anything? All right, what can I get you? Steak and eggs. All right, and how do you like that? Bloody. All right. Hey, it's Annabelle. Leave me a message after the beep. Look, Ann, you have to stop cutting school. Okay, Mr. James asked where you are, and call me back. I am 
so sorry, you guys. This is just an Wednesday for me. We well, all did we it. Can you just put the back on your side? We Listen all did it. Me. Let's go home. You know the rules, Miss Baxter. Oh, this is private property? Yes, listen, listen then how come the corporation is allowed to throw holes on it? Screaming. Theo, step back, okay? They're called permits. Now put the megaphone down and let's go. Heck no! Four. We won't Four. go! Fracking is Four. bad! Four. We don't pay! Yes, you, are. you can object all you want. You're just doing this because the Vanderhoeks are rich. We all know you're in their pocket. You know what? You not only have the right to remain silent, uh -huh. consider it an official request. Oh my god, okay, you, you come can't arrest him! Just hey, whoa, whoa, hey, you're not allowed to arrest him! You're I know. not allowed to arrest him! You should not be arrested! Wait. Why are you arresting them? There's literally four other people besides me and Flora! Come on, come on! Hey, you wait. can do all the grabbing you want what? out at the station, watch your head. Did you find them yet? Just Ruby. But she got away. Well, I hope that we don't have to spend the night here, because I am absolutely freezing right now. Kind of reminds me of my house. Your dad still hasn't fixed the heater? Okay, you two. Come on with me. Um, no one's questioning me without a lawyer present. Lay off it, will ya? Been bailed out by a kindly soul. Ah, oh, jeez. Doesn't look too kindly today. We'll talk about this later. Come on, Flora. I'll drop you home. All this over a stupid protest? It's not about that. Hey, you did this! You did this! Hey, What'd you do with it? Charlie? Charlie? Yeah, she hey, threatened Charlie. me! She said something bad would happen to Charlie, us. Charlie, Charlie, let's just worry about Annabelle, okay? We'll leave it to Sheriff Preston to deal with a few disobedient kids. Thank you, Kirk. We're doing all we can, all right? Just hang on a minute, I'll be right back. Let's go, everyone. Maya, let's try to keep these two out of trouble. You can pick up your bikes out back. What's going on over there? Is there something wrong with Annabelle? She's missing. No one's seen her since last night. <laughs> Are you serious? I hope she's not in trouble. Well, karma's a heel. Hey, come on. Theo, drop it. Annabelle Vanderhoek would never go for you, even if you lived a million years. Mom, I told you, I'm really sorry. It's not about the protesting. I told you that. Mom, nothing is gonna happen to me, okay? I was trapped under those caves for three days, Theo. I still wake up most nights and see pitch black. I hear my friends screaming. I don't ask much of you, Theo. Now that your dad is gone, you're all I've got. Please just do me this one favor and stay away from that place. I promise. Good night, Theo. Turn off the light in a minute. I'm almost done. It's funny. My bed was against the other wall. My dresser was over here. Who, who, who are you? I had a boombox here. Double cassette deck. 
I'm Ruby, by the way. And I'm hungry. <laughs> Next, on Red Ruby. I know we're all pretty worried about Annabelle, but I'm sure she'll come back to us soon. You and the other teenagers, I'm not hungry. Other teenagers? You were looking for me? Run you down, down, run you down, down, run you down, down.